they may rest from their labors, for they take with them the record of their deeds. In the midst of life, we are in death. Whom can we turn for help but to you, Lord, who are justly angered by our sins? Lord God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us from the bitter pains of eternal death. You know the secrets of our hearts. In your mercy hear our prayer. Forgive us our sins, and at our last hour, let us not fall away from you. In short, certain hope of resurrection to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God, our brother Nicholas, and we commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And we beseech you in your infinite goodness to give us grace to live in your dear love and to die in your favor, that when your well beloved son shall come again in judgment, both this our brother Nicholas and we ourselves may be found acceptable in your sight. Grant this for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, with whom still live the spirits of those who die in the Lord, and with whom the souls of the faithful are in joy and felicity. We give you heartfelt thanks for the good examples of all your servants who, having finished their course in faith, now find rest and refreshment. May we, with all who have died in the true faith of your holy name, have perfect fulfillment and bliss in your eternal and everlasting glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Grant, O Lord, to all who are bereaved the spirit of faith and courage, that they may have strength to meet the days to come with steadfastness and patience, not sorrowing as those without hope, but in thankful remembrance of your great goodness and in the joyful expectant expectation of eternal life with those they love. And this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Rest eternal grant to him, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon him. May he and all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious to him. The Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give him peace. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>
son, I mean that love the Lord. And I know that we can. Try to worry. Lord, you know. Can we?
Jesus Christ, our Lord. We are praying, please. Come on. A prayer for the bereaved family. God and our Father, we thank you for who you are to us, the creator, the sustainer, the redeemer, the one who forgives, the one who provides. O oh Lord, your word, the scriptures are so plain to us that indeed the plan of life sins that fall out in the Garden of Eden is that death would come our way. But we are so thankful that the physical death is not the end. And so in hope at this time, we bring to you the bereaved family, parents, loved ones, Friends, or oh, just now, we aren't able to understand it all as yet. But in faith, we are saying and we are depending on you to give strength in a special way at this time to all persons gathered here, especially the bereaved family. Oh God, may your strength continually be ours. And I pray for those of us who are remaining that we would take a look and be identified with you and be connect with, connected with you, the creator and redeemer of mankind. Again, we say thank you for loaning Nicholas to us. He's now gone. And those of us who are here, whatever legacy to be carried on, may each family member and friend seem, seek to emulate through your strength. Again, as we now seek to leave this place, oh God, your love we claim. The bereaved family. Amen. Unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Mother, Mary, and others, we go forth in the name of Christ. 
Thanks be to God. Until we meet. Thank you.